in Saudi Arabia. Gonna be Tyson Fury, the best heavyweight in the world of boxing, taking on the best heavyweight in the world of MMA in Francis and Ganu. The bottom of the bottom from the planet. Come on! This is my first boxing match. And we are not fighting anyone, we are fighting the one. Why is the best in the world fighting a former UFC fighter? You have to understand that this is the opportunity that all the boxers out here, they've been dreaming of. And some guy just will somehow find a way to get it in the front line. This is going to be the most exciting events any of us will watch. My goal is not only to win, but to also go out there and prove people that I can box. We're here in Las Vegas at Francis Ngannou's gym, and uh, big fights require a lot of effort, so today we are doing uh, one of his many official photo shoots in preparation as he's leaving for Riyadh very soon. So we have the best photographer in the business, Mikey Williams, and we're going to get to work soon. I grew up enjoying boxing. I grew up uh, being a huge fan of boxing. It's something that I always enjoy. It's not something new, and now I'm there. Camp is going wonderfully. We're four weeks and, what, two days away? I mean, hey, we're happy with where we are, and, and we're going to continue to grind and get better every day as we inch closer to the fight. We are not going to build Rome in one day and just start a fight like Mike, but if we get some kick out of him That's and add on our arsenal. I need to do everything that could be done. Even in MMA fight that I used to go uh, to fight, you don't go to a fight like, oh, I need to work on this and that. No, you need to work on everything. That's how it works. But even when I was training for MMA, I used to spar do some uh, boxing sparring, so it's okay. 30 seconds, champion. Can Francis knock out Tyson Fury if he lands that one shot? Or is Tyson Fury going to be too good for him? We don't really know, but it's the X factor of that hard hitting punch is the thing that we're looking for, and why this fight is one that you have to watch. One, three, six. Fighting is 70% of the instinct. Fighting is more instant than training. You can train as, as much as you want, but if you don't have that fighting instant, you are not a fighter. You could be the best technician ever, but if you go there and you don't have it, you can't do anything at all. Training just helps you to keep in shape. And also like how to increase, add something on top of that maybe 70%, which is like you being your instant. From the moment that he get announced officially that I'm fighting uh, Tyson Fury, I hit up Mike Tyson. I can't believe this, I'm a part of it. But I never had the opportunity to, um, to be in anything, anything close to this magnitude. The motivation, the, the wisdom, the, the knowledge that he brings, for me, is something unique. He knows a lot about the game, and if there's one but one person that I have to trust, that I can trust as far as boxing concerned, is Mike Tyson. I didn't think it would go too well at first. We trained, I thought we trained hard. Then the next day, we had an interview and I said, how you feel, you feel a little sore? He said, no, I feel great. I said, wow, that's a big mistake. He shouldn't have told me that. So he came back, trained that day, and he didn't say that. I, had, I wanted to work until he couldn't go anymore. And I said, that's what heavyweight champs do. They do heavyweight champion and when they don't have no more left, they keep going. Go straight. Go straight. Things been wonderful. And the, main, the, the most important component of that is that Francis Ngannou was motivated about it. And uh, the training's been going wonderful. We've been making all the implementations Mike Tyson wants us to make. And Francis is working hard, and that's, that's what it's going to take. I think any man who has seen a highlight video of Mike Tyson can understand why you would want him in your corner. I think any time any of us are at home and we see those old footage, it fires us up. And we're not professional athletes who are actually about to have a fight. Francis is. He's 
worshipped Mike Tyson since he was a young man. So I think to have him in his corner is motivation, probably something that we can't really understand. You know, it's a level of my idol is there telling me what he used to do and making me want to repeat that and upset the man who even took his name. Uh, I think for that reason, Francis loves Mike Tyson in his corner for that, that inspiration. WBC lineal heavyweight champion of the world. There is only one. This is a master clash right now. Tyson hey, hey, hey. Fury. My Lord, what a way to end it. For me, the reason why this fight is, is interesting is because it's unique. It's one of a kind. It's one of these MMA versus boxing crossover fights, but it's one where a guy has knockout power unlike anything we've seen before. And now he's going to put on bigger gloves, bigger surface area, more room to hit someone. There's always caution because Tyson Fury has everything to lose. It's more on the line now than a boxing fight. If I lose to a number one contender or another champion, it's like, well, he lost to a champion, whatever. But if I lose to an MMA guy, I'm never going to be able to show me face in public again. One thing that I know for sure is that when it's fight time, I can fight. I don't worry about that. Obviously coming into a new realm of a new sport, fighting the top guy in his prime. First boxing fight made a 10 round fight, not a four round fight. All those things are gigantic uh, accomplishments. Francis is a very powerful guy, as we've seen when he knocked out over him. Only an idiot wouldn't train the bollocks off of somebody like Francis. The man's a machine and I'll, I'll give him 100% respect. He has a lot of downsides. He's pretty good at distracting people because when you look at him, he really doesn't look like the guy. Don't worry about it. Hey, have a feel of them. Have a job, go on. Try it, son, you'll like it. This is the most athletic body in the world. He must be playing a mind game. He will be like, oh, look at me, look at my stomach, I'm a fat pig. I'm like, no, you're not. I have seen him, I have been ringside watching him, and you're know, like, man, how can this be possible? But you're watching it. Tyson Fury will leave zero stones unturned, and I will come in at me fittest and strongest and best I've ever been to defeat this man. Right on the chin, instant knockout. I mean, that was masterful. It is TNT. When I think about something, I go after that thing. I don't care whatever is. Uh, come in my way, what is along the way, what is the obstacle. I put all my focus on that thing and I move forward. And uh, I know that even if I fail, I will learn from it. The most important thing for me is to uh, identify what I want, focus on it, and put everything back that decision that I take. That's what Francis does. He takes the extraordinary and makes it ordinary. <laughs> The belief in itself that he came from Cameroon and for a reason. This is not from osmosis. You hear from a reason, ordained from God. This doesn't happen to people. They come here, they win another championship and another general, and then they know they fight for every champion. Won. That doesn't happen. That's not that's not osmosis. That's from divine. Please, you can't, you can't stop me. I will make history. I will warrior. At the end of the day, my goal is just to do my best possible not set a limit for myself, believe that there is always a way to go higher, and then do everything in that purpose. He deserves this fight, and uh, he deserves this victory. So his work ethic has always been there. He's working extremely hard right now. Get uh, myself in shape as much as possible, work on my reflex, work on my muscles memory. But when it's time to fight, I can fight.